Good morning, I'm Geeta. Welcome back to News But Not News. Humans on Earth have been consuming honey for many thousands of years. Over time, honey consumption has increased with COVID pandemic. Unfortunately, with increased consumption of honey, level of fake honey is also increasing. So to be sure about the purity, apart from lab tests, many of us perform home tests to check the purity of honey. So today in News But Not News, we are going to bust five most popular tests which are believed to be accurate to find out whether the honey is pure or not. Already reported Jyotsna is all ready to prove with a small experiments. Let's have a look. Over to you Jyotsna. So today we are going to debunk five popular honey purity tests which are to be believed to show accurate results whether the honey is pure or not. So without any delay, let's start. First, water soluble test. It is believed that if you take a glass of water and add one spoon of honey to it, if your honey is pure, it will settle down the glass without dissolving in water. If your honey dissolves in water, then it is said that your honey is adulterated. Is it so? This test is absolutely myth. This will never give accurate result at all. Why? Because if the adulterant juice in the honey is of thick consistency, then too the honey won't dissolve easily in water. So it doesn't mean that it is pure honey. This is what actually we have done here for small experiment. We have taken honey adulterated with 50% of jaggery syrup so that the consistency will remain thick even after adultering with jaggery syrup. Of course, this we have done for experiment purpose only. Generally, the manufacturers who are adultering honey, they rarely use jaggery syrup or molasses syrup. Instead, they use cheap, thick sugar syrup which we already saw in the previous video if you missed out that video i'll provide the link in the description you can check it out now let's see the test let's perform the solubility test here you can see three bowls and glasses first bowl consists of nmr tested pure honey second bowl consists of 50 percent of honey adulterated with 50 percent of jaggery syrup as i already told about this third bowl consists of adulterated honey you may get it out how i'm sure about that is adulterated because i tried n number of brands this honey smells and tastes too very bad just after using one spoon never used it again anyways at least it's being helpful for this and if you notice one thing the pure honey and adulterated honey looked very similar very very little color difference this is the reason i didn't take an equal quantity as i may get confused let's take one spoon of honey and add it in a glass of tea. So here with the experiment, we can clearly notice that none of the honey dissolved in the water. So according to this test, all three are pure honey. But we know the fact. We have taken only one pure honey sample, other two are adulterated honey. So water solubility test is absolutely a myth. Then what is the reality? This test shows whether the consistency is thick or not. It doesn't do anything about the purity. Next one, thumb test. It is believed that just with a single drop of honey, we can say whether that honey is pure or not. Is it so? We'll see whether how far it is true. So how do you perform? Just put a small drop of honey on your thumb and see whether it spills or stays on your thumb. It's a belief that if honey stays back on your thumb without spilling it off, then it is considered as pure honey or else it is considered as impure honey. So this test is also a myth. Then what is the reality? This thumb test also like solubility test, it only differentiates whether the consistency is thick or not. It no way shows about the purity of the honey. And next, flame test. Flame test is performed by dipping a matchstick in the honey and trying to light it up. It is a belief that if your honey is pure, then the matchstick will ignite easily or else if it is adulterated, it won't light it up. Now let us have a quick look on how this test is going to give our results with the adulterated honey. So this test also proved that all three honey samples are pure, but we know the reality. So this is giving 100% false results. This test is absolutely a myth. Then what is the reality? The math stick lighting or not lighting up is purely based on the presence of moisture content in the honey. 
if the adulterants used in the honey are of thick adulterants then the moisture content will also be less this is what exactly happened when we have performed tests with adulterated honey the moisture content as the moisture content in that honey is less the matchstick lighted up easily it doesn't mean that that honey is pure isn't it next one blot test is performed by pouring few drops of honey over the cloth or on blotting paper it is believed that if the honey flows through the blotting paper without wetting it it is considered as pure honey whereas if the honey gets absorbed or wet the blotting paper it is considered to be impure honey so this test is also a myth then what is the reality again it depends on the moisture content present in the honey if adulterated honey density is similar to pure honey this honey too will flow on the bloating paper without wetting it it doesn't mean that it is pure honey then lastly most viral video since many years stating that this test can easily identify whether the honey is pure or not is it so today we are going to debunk this test is also a false test first of all we'll see how the test is done to perform this first we need to take a little amount of honey in a plate and add some water and swirl it up So the general belief is that if hexagonal pattern is formed in the plate then it is known that the honey is pure if not honey is impure is it so now we'll see this how far it is true with a simple experiment let's see to do this test first take in some honey on the plate and add some water to it and swirl it on here the honey which i used is adulterated honey as i already said there is hardly any difference between adulterated honey and pure honey both looked almost same and swirl the plate for few seconds and within few seconds you can see the hexagonal pattern and now we'll perform the same test with honey which i adulterated with 50% of jaggery syrup Yes after taking honey we'll add some water and swirl it on within very few seconds you can see the same hexagonal pattern even here too So here we performed test twice only with adulterated honey as an in internet you can see many videos claiming that only pure honey will form the hexagonal shape whereas adulterated honey doesn't no it is nothing such in fact first of all it need not to be honey at all any liquid with equal viscosity will do the same thing yes for example now we'll perform the same test with dishwasher liquid yes what you heard is absolutely right here i'm taking some vim on the plate and add some water and swirl it on even then of your surprise you can see the same pattern here too here in the camera because of this light color this pattern is very lightly visible but if you want you can give a try at home you can clearly see the pattern directly is absolutely a myth what is the reason behind this this is just a interaction of two fluids with different densities viscosities and surface tension thank you jyotsna when we observe all these tests there is one common factor that is in every test we are looking for thickness of honey because most of us assume that pure honey is always thick but the thickness color texture and taste of honey always depends on various factors such as soil nectar sources humidity rainfall etc so the thickness or runniness of honey is not the right way to judge the purity of honey coming to a final conclusion at home it is extremely difficult to find out whether your honey is 100% pure or not this is also one of the reason for honey being third most adulterated food in the world right away after milk and olive oil On one hand no tests are reliable enough on the other hand counterfeits are becoming more and more similar in appearance to authenticate honey so the best way to check the purity is only through enema test nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy all right that's all for today see you all in the next news but not news until then geeta signing off thank you take care bye bye